I think the word. Mm. Responsibility? It's not my responsibility to uh, to see that my son is seeing his grandma the other way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. So it it is a bit frustrating that, you know, you, you're not the one responsible for organizing. Yeah. Like everything. His relationships everything. with other people. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's obviously too little to do it himself. So they have yeah. to show initiative. Yeah. Like, yeah. obviously, you can't do everything. Yeah, I totally get that. And the frustration, you know, you yeah. have everything that, you know, his whole life is in your hands. So if anybody mm. wants to help, that's great. But, you know, if 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 they don't have time, like, I mean, that's not your problem. Okay, mm. they have to find it, organize it for themselves. Everybody is a grown up. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and with my family, there's, and with my family, with my mom and my sister, my brother, it's still a little bit difficult, I would say. But now it's better than at the beginning of my single mom life. Um I know that if that if I have a very important appointment, I can always count, count on my sister or my brother that they uh, have a look on Oli. Um, but there's not; they don't take him for sleepovers that much. Mm. I don't know. They they're just the type of people they don't. My sister don't want to have kids, and my brother is still in his. Uh, social bubble with Monster Hunter games and uh, okay. streaming life and his so it's, it's a completely girlfriend. different life yeah 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 it's, he, I think he uh, don't want to have this responsibility to mm. uh, to take care of him because Oli is still a little boy not, not he a is. teenager or something like mm. that uh, yeah, I but that's... but I also also now it's better than in the beginning because now Oli can talk and he uh, don't need nappies anymore and he like there isn't that much say, care, right? Yeah, mm. <laughs> he can say can what his needs are. Mm. Like I've noticed that like obviously having kids just naturally makes you more mature. So maybe your siblings they are just not at that stage. They just don't see that in the same way like I notice it that obviously people this like nowadays people have kids later and later right so people get mm. like they they 30s early 30s they would still party rather than start families yeah. you know and it's quite natural in today's world so maybe that's 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 what's happening but um also I just noticed that certain people who don't have kids they're just a little bit afraid <laughs> and especially with young kids you know you can never predict yeah. you can like what if she he needs something and they don't know what it is right yeah, just yeah. Mm. totally okay but it doesn't like obviously that that's that makes it even more challenging because you obviously would count on every help that you can get. Uh, but yeah. And um, so just a little bit of a different question, but I was wondering what kind of values um, are you trying to pass on to Oli? What would you like him to be as a person when he grows up? First of all, I want to be that he's just kind, a kind person. Um, who doesn't harm anybody or anything, no human, no um, animal. Mm -hmm. Do not harm our environment and uh, nature because I'm like a little bit um, um, a, a, a co mom. Mm -hmm. That's very you know? good, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I also want that he doesn't... Uh, Except everything. Um, mm. For example, we have here this. Turk we live here in this Turkish neighborhood, mm -hmm. and all the kids are older, and they always like. You have to do this, and you have to do this, and now not not now. And I'm always saying to her, "Okay, Oli, if they don't want to play with you, it's okay. They don't need to. You don't need to do 
this if you don't want it. Just come over and we will play together. Uh, exactly. Things like that. Or other things like um, that it's okay when he says no, even if it's uh, something like hugging and kissing family mm. members. Oh, absolutely. That's so close to my yeah. heart. Mm, I've talked about it. It's so important. So, yeah. Something like that. Just, I just want that he, he will be a, a, a good human who cares about other people and nature and animals. And I don't want an asshole kid. I think that's quite a lot, you know. If he's a good, kind human being who cares, then, you know, then wherever, wherever, whatever else he does, he's going to be fine, I think. And yeah, what you're saying about boundaries and like saying no, being assertive and like, you know, this is so important. And like, we don't often talk about it in terms of boys, but I feel like it's as important as in girls because, you know, naturally people think, oh, we have to teach girls because of, you know, consent and stuff like that. But I think when it comes to boys, it's the same. We don't want them to be like those yeah. pushovers when, when they're older. Yeah, great. I would want, want the same. I'm not that, you know, eco uh, sort of uh, crazy. No, I wouldn't say that you're crazy, but like it's something that I would want to do, but maybe it's just we're not mature enough. We also come from Poland, and I feel that Poland isn't generally um, a country that is is very conscious about the environment so that that could be it but definitely I, I totally admire what you want to pass on to him and so you mentioned that Oli wants a brother would you want any more kids even being a single mom yes I would really love to have um I would love to have another boy uh I always thought in the beginning when I was younger I always thought I'm the girl mom I want oh. to have to I want to have a girl to play with Barbie and <laughs> Polly Pocket and buy little cute dresses and tie up the hair and then <laughs> I was pregnant with the boy first I was very disappointed I have to admit I was disappointed that it's a boy and not a girl wow <laughs> um, but but then uh, my mind changed Mm-hmm. because the love grew so my mind changed just like it was a natural thing in my head um and now I think if I would I would really have a second kid, uh, child um but I would love to have a second boy really mm-hmm. because I I know what it is uh, like um I already have a little bit of um, experience with the girl because Holly has a bigger half sister oh, okay. and I know her she since she's nine months old and this year this year she turned oh my what year is it 2021 <laughs> yeah this year yeah this uh pandemic is that I don't know if I'm I'm still in I know. 2020 I know <laughs> uh, <laughs> his biggest sister turned this year eight and I, oh, so wow. I know her for I, I know her for seven and a half half years. Mm. Um, she was two and a half when Oli was born. So in these two years, I always could get this experience as a mom. And mm. um, now when I see her, I see this little lady mm-hmm. with her <laughs> attitude, and I think, okay, no girl for me. <laughs> He's a boy, and because I'm uh, 33 now, I said to my girl, uh, not to my girlfriend, to a friend, mm-hmm. um, that I would also do the single mom thing the second time. Wow, that's so. But brave. I want, yeah. But I want, I want a second child, and I gave me the time to. 38 okay it's for me the, the the last point where I should get pregnant okay without being a, a granny mom <laughs> um and 
if it doesn't uh, fit with the man again, because I am a very strong woman, um, I would do this thing, thing, mom, again. Oh my God. It sounds like such a concrete plan. I love it. I honestly love it. <laughs> and you're so determined as well. Like if it, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Fine. Perfect. Oh my God. But also what I wanted to say, I wanted to go back to what you said, that when you were pregnant, you were disappointed that you had a boy. I wanted to touch on that because I feel like people do not talk about it enough. Like we get pregnant we get told if we choose to, right? We get told what the yeah. sex of the baby is. And then everybody says, oh, it's not important. It's the most yeah. important that they are healthy. Nobody yeah. talks about your internal. Oh, yeah. I really wanted a girl or I really wanted yeah. a boy, right? And like yeah. the fact that you say it out loud is just so important. So, you know, but it's interesting how also it changed in your head. And like, you know, before you mentioned that you are quite masculine and you have quite masculine interests or whatever. So it actually worked out very well. And you're, you're, you're happy of, uh, with being a mom of a boy. That's amazing. <laughs> I couldn't imagine it would be, it would be different. I, I couldn't imagine now have here this five year old old girl with girls and and, and 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 Barbies and stuff like that. No, no. <laughs> no. But you know what? Maybe you would have raised her as a similar person more, to more like you. A boy. So exactly, exactly. You know, that's also possible. You would have the influence. So yeah. Perfect. Okay. Um so as we're coming to an end, I was just wondering but okay if not if you had anything that you would want to uh, say to other single moms anything that you know I would I think there must be some difficult moments in single parents lives so is there anything that you strongly believe in or just anything at all um I don't know if, it, if I really have an advice but the only thing I can say to any mom Uh, mm. single mom or not single um, just do your thing you have your mom intuition listen to your heart don't get confused by other opinions just do what you think is the best for your kid yeah. because you are the mom you It know what's like best is. yeah exactly oh my god I'm going to print it out, put it on my wall and remind myself, <laughs> you do you. I, I I say it all the time, but sometimes I need a reminder as well. Yeah, yeah, but that's one thing. Um, take, your, take your time for you. That's something I always wanted in the beginning when I got single. Um, but I couldn't take it because in the beginning it was difficult with their dad and my family Childcare, yeah mm -hmm. um but now it's much better and i i i really love my kid free time so the thing i can say when you have a kid free day or a weekend just do your thing don't clean up let your home be a mess just do things for you and two hours before your kid comes back you can start cleaning that's enough <laughs> Love it. Oh my God. Love it. That's the best message to any, anybody really, to be honest, whether even a mom yeah. or not a mom. I feel yeah. like as women, we are sometimes those like martyrs, you know, like we believe that we have to do certain things. Yeah. No, we don't have to. The only thing that no, we, have, we to have to do is to look after ourselves as well. Yeah. That's, that's the only priority. Um. So, yeah. Let's end on that super positive note. Um, thank you so much. This was such a lovely chat. I thank you too. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your story. It's very brave, uh, as always, to be speaking in English, which isn't your native language, but I think it was amazing. The people would agree with me 100%, I'm sure. I um, so. <laughs> um, Even if it's not perfect, that's not the point. We're sharing so much important stuff and so much value and like food for thought and talking about such important topics that 